Star Wars Insider issue number 52 with uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 from episode 2. Great image of both of them here and uh, super exciting. Imagine once again not seeing the film and just anticipating it and seeing that image there along with the images we'll see in a couple of uh, a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes here. Uh, table of contents and this issue was just jam-packed with uh, great interviews from Kathy Tyers, George Lucas himself and here we go prequel update which I always love getting uh, pumped for this um, so here he describes the status of filming and shooting on location and um, shooting on location as well as shooting um, in the studio uh, and how the uh, digital using the digital camera how that is going for George Lucas and how they're pretty much breaking ground with this new technology as it was filming here are um, some images um, handpicked by George Lucas himself for StarWars.com as well as um, Insider And here's some sad news at that time. Still sad, obviously. Uh, the actress who played Baru Lars um, had passed away um, shortly before this magazine was published. So a great article on her and her work. And here we have some fans modifying their um, vehicles for Star Wars. Uh, George Lucas interview. This is the big one um, at that time, describing the filming of Episode 2 compared to Episode 1, how the scope is a lot bigger, uh, how his interaction was with the uh, with the actors and how um once again breaking ground using that new digital camera at that time so great great interview there with uh, the man himself and here we have a jawa trader and uh, going back to the george lucas article he describes uh, post-production and how much he loved uh, editing and that's obvious that um, he loved um, the editing process as it's well um, well documented and the casting for Christopher Lee, he describes that. Uh, here we have Robin Gerland, a super important uh, for Lucasfilm at that time, the casting director. And she describes the process of casting Hayden Christensen, Tamara Morrison, um, and other Silas Carson. And here's an article of a newspaper called The Onion. I'm personally not familiar with this uh, newspaper, but apparently it had some Star Wars uh, funny content there. And that continues the articles from The Onion. And here's one um, section I loved, Comics Link, uh, with update with um, news on upcoming uh, comics. But this one doesn't have upcoming comics. It's dedicated uh, pretty much with um, different characters like Lou, Kalea, Han, and recommended reading. And surprisingly, there's a lot of um, Marvel, original car Marvel um, comics, the original run. Uh, super fun stories for different characters. Balance Point, an interview with Kathy Tyers. Love this article. Just how she describes the uh, collaboration and the writing process and where the story Balance Point uh, fits in. So this was a little while, a couple of months before the release. So that was super exciting to read. Here's the Demolition video game. It's super fun. Had a blast playing that. A lot of memories. And this is DecipherCon year 2000. Never attended that, but just fun reading about it. And a continuation of Rebel Rumblings is always super fun hearing what the fans um, had to say and what their fun comments. And a great image or artwork from the Pod Race from episode one. So great, great article packed with interviews. Issue number 52.